So this is why I don't make a lot of videos like I used to. This is kind of the stuff that I work on often. A nice hermetic, a semi, three bad caps, condenser fans were off, but this thing was overheating and not cooling inside. Now it's working like a champ. Check this out. A beautiful refrigerant charge. We got beer can cold, it's sweaty. We got a 90 degree day, you got some sweat on it. Boom, good charge R22. I'm kidding, it's not the best way to charge it, but now I have this carrier unit I'm working on, this nice new 410A carrier. And well, I got a problem. It's not new, but if you check it out, you got a leak, you got a leak right there. So, yeah. Here's the problem right there. So, got a nice little leak right in the corner of that micro channel. I'll show you on the other side, but I mean, it's right here is the leak. I don't know if you guys can see any bubbles. It's not easy to see. Every once in a while, you can see right at the top of it. You know, a little bubble action. So, I mean, let's go to the inside of it. Because I found and verified on both sides. And here I marked off a leak also right here so this way I don't lose track of where it is I mean you can't because the bubbles the bubbles really didn't do much to build until you get to up here got some there but I don't really consider that a leak but this guy here is definitely leaking so oh well this service calls over but I mean this stuff takes time it's hard to make videos out of so I mean a nice little carrier, two compressors. So I'll climb back out. As you can see, it's just bubbling away. You can see little tiny bubble flashes inside of it. Let's see if I blow it away. bubbles focus yeah, you can see it came right back on the bottom boom so it's slowly filling up with air with little bubbles so it is what it is this coil needs to be replaced or repaired so I mean well look at that beast I love these old things well, till next time, I'm out.